Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at presets, and particularly the free presets built into Lightroom. There are some amazing ones, and like we've learned, presets just allow you to quickly and easily use somebody else's editing power and just apply them. And go through, check what's been done, make adjustments, those are the black and white ones, some cinematic ones, there's some amazing ones built into Lightroom. Let me show you how to use them and use them properly. Let's go. All right, to get started, there are some files. I'm bringing preset one to seven in from our 12 presets folder. So bring in all of those and open up this image here. Cool, so presets, where are they? Where are they hiding? Where's all the free ones? Show us, Dan. Um, first thing, before you apply a preset, you should be doing your corrections first, okay? Because uh, presets are often effects that go over the top. Okay, they're not going to fix our images. So we need to fix them first. And this one here feels like it only needs uh, the color. So I'm going to go from, I'm going to twirl up light, I'm going to go to color, and I'm just going to see what auto does. Mm, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. It's quite yellow. It's a lot cooler now. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so you go through, you do your light, you do your adjustments in here, exposure, contrast, use the points curve if you like, and then apply your presets. So your presets are under edit. They're up the top here. And let's open it up. And the default one is going to be recommended. It's going to analyze your photo and it's going to give you recommended ones, which like I don't really like. <laughs> what it does is it's pretty cool how it works. Like it goes through, analyzes the image, the composition, who's in it, how many people, what kind of tonal range. It does some cool stuff and then goes, hey, I'm going to look at all the other ones that have been done in Lightroom. Okay, and I'm going to give you some suggestions for the presets. Remember the presets are these. I'm going to open these up so you can see it. Okay, I'll open the points curve as well. Can you see if I move across? Can you see all the sliders changing over here? So it's just other people's uh, goes at, yeah, the presets. And you might find stuff in here that works for you. You might be like, I like this, but I'm looking for really subtle ones. And it's going to give me subtle presets that other people have made. Okay, you can actually see who makes them by clicking on this. There you go. Okay, so you can find these presets. Okay, or the recommended ones, go through them. I prefer just going straight to premium. And you said free, Dan. Why does it say premium? They are premium free ones. It means that um, as part of your subscription, these are part of it. I really like these. And um, so we'll look at adaptive in a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're pretty well named. Okay, and you're going to find the places that you find in both your, you know, like what you want from the image, what the client wants. What's kind of like, there's different kind of cultures that like different, let's say this wedding photography look here. There's just different cultures. Like some of them, I look at them, and I'm like, wow, it's bananas, <laughs> you know? Whereas, you know, different cultures looking at mine kind of goes, what are they doing to those images? I love hanging around in kind of cinematic, okay? I, you know, it's a trend at the moment here. Often they're too much, okay? Like some of these are just like, way too much but say this one here cn6 okay which is um i don't know just the acronym they've given for the cinematic ones let's say i really like this i can click on it the cool thing about it is two things one is i can see over here look what they've done this person that's created this default you know what they've done they've done a little bit in light but they've done most of their work in the curves okay can you see there whereas some of the ones that were under recommended let's have a look this one here they've done no curves okay but they've done some, you know, some adjustments up here in exposure. Not a lot though, right? Let's find another one. Yeah, see this one here? It's hard to point at it, okay? But you can see there is some adjustment in the lights, okay? And not nothing in the curve. Let's have a look what else they've done in, say, color. Okay, nothing much there. Let's have a look at fix. So you just kind of look around to see what they've done. Not a lot going on in this one. Let's go back to premium. Let's go to this one. You can see there's lots been going on. Look, hue shift. Um, all the different colors have been adjusted. I know that because see the little dots underneath them? They're not there, but when I hover above this, look at that, every single one of those little color slider has been adjusted, okay? So it gives me a really good look. I'm like, okay, I like this, but I want to go through and actually just, for the overall hue, maybe not you know, push it back or change things or go in here and say, I don't like the vibrance, so I'm gonna pull the vibrance out. So I can start with a preset and then go and adjust it. You can reset everything if you get a bit kind of lost clicking on these, hit Command R. Remember just to reset everything. And let's say I like this one, but I can just lower the amount. Okay, I just don't want it to be, you know, I like it, but not too much. Just lower the, just you're kind of lowering everything in these sliders down a little bit. Okay, so there is no like wedding option, okay, in this case, but like things like black and white are, you know, great for a set for, in our case, wedding photography. Okay, you can see in here, oh, I like it. You just hover above them. 
you find one that you like and because we have mad new skills now okay you might be like why didn't you just show this at the beginning go <laughs> add cinematic save file done it's because now we can apply these and go all right i like black and white but it's a bit too grainy i like it it's cool with the grain but i want a little bit less so instead of playing with the amount because i am a hardcore mm, photo editor now i can go in here and say no it's not in there it's not in there it's color oh well clicking on everything undo uh, I can go in here, light, 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 effects, all oh, textures being added, and grain. Look at this, I'm just going to lower down the grain. Look at that. And I know what texture does. I'm just going to lower that down a little bit more. Okay, before, after. <gasps> Look at us, using presets to kind of get us where we need to go, and then going and making adjustments because we have crazy good Lightroom skills. And if nothing else, it really helps us get an idea of what, you know, how we get to these effects. Like, where was that one? So I'm going to reset it again, Command or Control R. I'm gonna go to cinematic. There was that the six we were using. Was it? Let's have a look under light. Let's have a look under the curve. So they've used a lot of this. And what they've done is we'll do it later in the course to get special effects ourselves. But can you see in here? They've gone the black and they've dragged it. So there actually is no black and there is no white. What I mean by that is watch this. If I drag that down, can you kind of see my adjustments here? They've grabbed the black. Okay, that's a rich full black, and they've said there is none. I can get rid of all the blacks, you see they're gone. Okay, so it's a really handy tip when you're looking for that vintage look. Basically, vintage means you up. And so not many blacks, not really sharp blacks, and not many sharp whites, okay? It's a funny part where everybody in photography, you know, 20 years ago or film industry years ago, you'd spend so much time to get the full blacks and the full whites. Now we spend our time trying to get rid of it, <laughs> to try and get the look of the old days. And um, yeah, there you go. You can reset it up here, okay? I'm using the command R, but you can hit the reset and it'll just reset the presets, not any other adjustments you've done. All right, so without going through all of them, okay, you can have a look. These will change over time as well, okay? And just have a little look. Like, it's it's a bit tricky. Like, what does food do? There's nothing like food that's been put in here, but there's been some amazing editors, way better than I have, have gone through and made decisions on what will make, um, you know, uh, food look good, pop, if you will, okay, in photography, and have given you settings. If you're a landscape photography uh, photographer, start in here. See how this affects your work. You'll start to get a sense of kind of moods, like I know cinematic is going to always make it cooler and really accentuate the contrast. I like it. I like it at the moment, okay, and I know if I go to travel, it's probably going to be orangey, bluey, teal stuff, okay, because, I don't know, that's the trend for travel photography. Lots of teals and oranges. Okay, so you will get a feel for these as you kind of work through them. And if nothing else, it's a good place to get started. All right, that is where to find the free presets inside of Lightroom. Let's get on to the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.